Hello there. What's up? How are you guys? If your answer is I'm fine, that means your vocabulary needs a little bit push. What? Stop saying I'm fine. If you observe in our India, if you ask the first question as how are you, the answer would be I am fine. Even though the person is in the hospital or the person is in the prison or the person is somewhere, wherever the person is, he says the same answer called I am fine. Do you know the actual meaning of fine? So the actual meaning of fine is not about a positive way, it's not about a native way, it lacks between that. That means uh, in our mother tongue, mother tongue we call it as I am fine. Are you in the situation? Do you want to be there? No. So here I brought three categories. One is positive response, another one is negative response, the last one is neutral response. So in each type of responses, how we have to give the reply or the response for the question, how are you? Right? So let's get started with new words, new vocabulary and with new energy. The first phrase I have for you is when someone says how are you or someone asks you how are you then you have to give a reply as I am good. I am good in case that you are okay but not up to the box. Whereas if you say I am awesome, I am awesome indicates that you are doing fantastic. That means you are in a cloud nine. That means you are very happy and your life is uh, like what you desire. Right? So you can use I am good or I am awesome. Instead of saying good, you can also use two other words which are known as connecting words. Those words are one word is quite. I'm quite good. I'm quite well. You can also use pretty. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty well. So if someone asks you, how is your life? You can say that my life is awesome. So whatever I, whatever I want, I have that fun. So that is the response you have to give. Simply uh, stop saying that I am happy. The next word I have for you is I am doing well. So if you are, if you are very happy and if you have all the things that you want, then you can use this phrase called I am doing well. Stop saying I am doing good. Doing good indicates that you are doing good things. See here they ask you about your life so then you have to give reply about your life so that's why you have to say that I am doing well. So good is also correct when they ask you about how you are doing. That means whether you are doing good things or bad things then you have to use the phrase the word good. The next phrase I have for you is fit as fiddle. Fit as fiddle means yes fiddle yeah. Fit as fiddle means you have sound health. Sound health is not about the sound engineer. Sound health is about your strong health. That you are very fit and you are very healthy. Then you can say this idiom. This is an idiom. So you can use this idiom as uh, you are having sound health. Then you can use that. Someone asks you how are you. Then you can use yes. I'm fit as fiddle. Well. The next uh, phrase I have for you is couldn't be better. Couldn't be better means all the things you have and you are very much satisfied with your life and you are very happy with that. Then someone asks you how are you means you can say that couldn't be better. Whatever I want I have the same thing. The next phrase I have for you is I am great. Thank you. Someone asks you how are you or how do you do like what they ask. You can simply say that I am great. Thank you. And you can also ask him how about you? How about you? This is not about you have to spell it as about. How about you? Miralaun Naru. So you can add a linking word. Right? The next phrase I have for you is never been better. If someone asks you, how's your life? Never been better. Whatever I want, it's like that only. As usual, every day I am I am rocking. So you can use these type of phrases for positive responses. These are for formal one. Let's talk some more phrases. The next phrase I have for you is can't complain. 
can't complain that so there is there are no changes at all life is very nice um, he doesn't want to complain for anything whatever he needs uh, that is available with him so then he can says that can complain the next phrase i have for you is so far so good so you put that one only so till now i am very happy that means he is very happy with his things or job or anything else the next phrase i have for you is i am great and you so here answer as well as question if you want to ask if someone ask you how are you then you can say yes i am great and you that indicates that he is asking the other person as well the last phrase i have for you is i am feeling great today i am feeling grateful today that indicates that he is very uh, in high spirits for example someone ask you sir how are you you can say that i am grateful today i am great today that means that indicates that the opposite so opposite people also thinks that he is very has a lot of fire okay now let's move on to the native phrases if someone ask you how is your life or how are you then what type of response is so usually we use i am fine in that situation also we as we use the phrase called i am fine stop using i am fine i am not good likewise just follow these words that gives you uh, that gives you feel like a native english speaker let's see so here for native responses you have to start with a starter called i am sorry why we have to use i am sorry here i am sorry indicates that the uh, the person um, is asking you from a good response but you are trying to interrupt that one so that's why you use the phrase for i am sorry so you have to use i am sorry life is awful so life is awful means daridranga unde jeevitham anta ala ayipoyind anukuntam kada that means the native aspect you are talking while talking native aspect then you have to use this phrase called life is awful so i am awful life is awful chala bad too bad in case that bad then you have to use the phrase life is awful the next phrase i have for you is life is disgusting so i expect something that's happening something so anukunna dokate aithe aina dokate antarsira same the phrase we can use here life is disgusting ante ne anukunna dokate jarige dokate na jeevitham na ke addam kaatledu anukunna but we have to use this phrase and also i can use life sucks life sucks ante aipen mottham complete antam kada so then you have to use this phrase called life sucks the next word i have for you is so the weekend if it is saturday and again your boss is asking you to do something else something else something at the time is again 7 o'clock 7 pm then you say that if some of your colleagues ask you how are you man then you can say that oh my gosh exhausted exhausted means you worn out mottham ayipoyindi mana edge enta level ayipoyi mottham poyina appudu you can say that exhausted visigetti poyanu antam kada mottham na valla kaatledu antam sir exhausted if someone ask you how is your life it's exhausted sir nothing else aim ledu so uh, students nowadays in the online classes from morning to evening if someone ask you hey students how are you then your response will be sir exhausted we are exhausted okay the next word i have for you is stressed out so during examination morning to evening classes exams greek test grand test everything then what happens then you say that i'm stressed out life is full of stress then you can use this word i am stressed out instead of saying i am not uh, i am not good i am bad then you can use that i am stressed out all right let's move to the next one i am hanging in there i am hanging in there that's you are not in a good situation something went wrong so i am hanging in there means then you have to give the response that what happened if someone says i am hanging in there then you have to ask a linking question called what happened you didn't you have to share to me okay the next phrase i have for you is not as good as others valla nen lenandi yes if someone is comparing like other people that means they are very happy and i'm not happy then you can use this phrase as not as good as others the last phrase i have for you is i have been better edo undi atla atla gadipestunanu antu untu kada that means total indicate that he has something happened to them and he is not okay then he used the phrase called i have been better 
so for these you have to use the starter call i'm sorry or else you can say that i'm afraid i'm afraid my life is exhausted i'm afraid my life is stressed out all right so i will explain you the remaining phrases to say life is neutral so if someone asks you so how is your life and you have to say that average ways no big shakes no big shakes indicates that pedaga maarpu levu no big shakes no big changes next life is as usual edo garchukunte pothundi so antanta maatranga undi life is so so right so here these are the different phrases we can use i hope you have learned some new vocabulary so if someone ask you how are you then your answer is well i am rocking for positive responses you have to use well for negative responses you have to use i am sorry while using i am sorry and well you need to keep a look on your tone that means while giving a positive response you have to give in high spirits like means energy levels while you giving reply to the negative response you have to say i am sorry life is awful i am sorry life is disgusting the right voice you have to use if talking about the neutral one well life is as usual life is uh, no big shakes right thanks for watching please share this content to the remaining members it would be beneficial to them thank you stay home stay safe